everybody, and welcome. We are surrounded today by pageantry and tradition. Check out this scene. We've got high hopes for another exciting college football game. And wow, do we have a fun one here ahead. A top 10 team walking into the snake pit of an environment just trying to get out alive. This will be fun, as we'll see the number three team in the country, the Texas Longhorns, taking on another team from the SEC, the Vanderbilt Commodores. Through EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Longhorns will kick it away to start us off. Return starts from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. The Commodore's offense going to get the chance to start this game off. And the focus, of course, on this quarterback, Kirk. This guy just has the it factor. He is him, as they say. Well, Chris, we've had a chance to watch this guy closely all year, and I don't know if I've ever seen a kid throw the football like this guy. His awareness in and out of the pocket is special. He's a unique quarterback and a really dynamic player. Chris, I know it's the first play of the game, but boy, nice job by this offensive line. The back gets behind him, picks up some positive yards. So one play moves the ball to the 38. It'll be first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it go. It's caught downfield. And the game just good enough for a first down. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. So the ball placed right at midfield as the offense starts with a first and ten. The shotgun running play call. Second down after that run on the previous play. To throw, it's Pavia. Quick throw to the left. And it's complete downfield. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Boy, they do a great job here on play action. The linebackers were completely fooled. Two or three steps up into the line of scrimmage opened up a nice lane behind the backers between the safeties for the quarterback to make the read and a good throw downfield. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Second down after that run on the previous play. Off the RPO, caught to the right. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. You know, each receiver brings something a little bit different to the table, Chris. To me, the outside receivers usually are a little bit longer, taller guys. You get those slot receivers in the inside, not only can they make the catch, but they have quickness to make plays after the catch. Great example of that right here. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, it is tough to run the football inside this five-yard line. Give all the credit to that defensive line eating up those linemen, allowing the rest of the defense to fly to the football for that short loss. Backed up to the five-yard line now for second and goal. Here's the handoff, testing the middle. Nowhere to run. No corral him for no gain. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Here we go, third and goal coming up. Dropping back, it's Pavia. Looking to the end zone, looking for a touchdown, but it's incomplete. Well, it's decision time now, Chris. Fourth and short coming up, and you know they're thinking about going for this one. Likely looking at that play sheet, 
and finding the go-to play that will help them pick up this first down and keep this drive alive. They're thinking six points. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. And he knocks it right through the uprights. It breaks the scoreless tie here, makes it 3-0. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. We come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. So Texas's offense takes the field. The first chance we've had to see them today. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players to just a few guys, Kirk. But what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with nowhere to go, and the ball is knocked loose. Looks like the defense has it. Hey, Chris, we can hear the contact from that hit all the way up here in the booth. So, hey, it's easy to blame the ball carrier, but I don't know if anybody could have been able to hold on to the ball after that hit. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Here's a carry for the fullback. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. And here's the handoff. With Juke to get free. And he's able to find some running room. Nice pickup. Offense facing a third down now. They can still get a first down without scoring. Looking to pass. It's Pavia. Pass caught. Can he get in? And he will score! Touchdown, Commodores! Well, they began with great field position, and that didn't take long at all, Kirk. Well, that's how you take advantage of an opportunity. Your defense sets you up in great field position. You're not looking for a field goal. You're looking for a touchdown. Give the credit to this offense for being aggressive and punching it in. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. That one sails out of the back of the end zone at the touchback. First down here for this offense. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Breaking free at the 35. And a huge gain before he's forced out of bounds. Big yardage to set up a fresh set of downs. Outstanding blocking on the left side of that offensive line. That's really what opened up this play. They did their job, and you can see the results. You burst open and get a big gain on the ground. If I were them, I'd keep going to that side and see how much more success they can have. On first down, why not keep it on the ground? They stop him after a six-yard gain, so second and four. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. Second down after that run on the previous play. Here comes the handoff. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior.
third down after that running play. Try and muscle for the first down. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Nice first down run here by this running back. And these are the kind of situations on third and short that you could gain a lot of momentum or it can kill a drive and kill the confidence of an offense. Here they pick up the nice first down, which is great. New set of downs. But it also gives you a lot of confidence in you can wear that defense down psychologically. Grab behind the line. It's Bolden. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Boy, wide receiver screen can be hit or miss. Either receiver finds a nice crease and picks up big yards, or the defense completely negates that. The team speed from the defense here wins that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Finding space at the 20. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. All right, Chris, let's face it. Most of the offensive linemen today, they're big. You know, they weigh over 300 pounds. But that doesn't mean they don't have to have agility. And the way they can get out there in front of the runner, create space, sometimes it looks like they're going in one direction. And a runner uses his eyes to take him in another direction because he's been blocked so well. Love those misdirectional counter plays. And this one worked out really well for a nice piece of yards and a first down. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. Powers through. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Boy, this defense is strong up front. Linebackers are flying downhill, able to make plays against this run game. Now they get this offense to another third down. Now you pressure that quarterback and try to build on the lead. So here we go. Third down in the red zone. The kind of play that decides football games. Drop him back. We're going to throw for the first down. Can't find anybody on third down. Throws it away. And now fourth down coming up. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. And here comes the field goal unit onto the field. Kick is good. Gives the offense three points to show for that drive. Oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Fields it just outside the goal line. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. Just able to stop it, but it's a great return. Lucky to prevent a touchdown, but they get in the drive with excellent field position. First down, looking to throw the ball. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. And he'll run out of bounds after picking up a few yards on the play. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. That completion makes it second and short. Dropping back, it's Pavia. Let's it fly out of the wideout. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. Boy, the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do right from the time he got the snap. The receiver is able to create some separation almost immediately on that corner route. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. That has been in large part to the Lions on the ground game, which has been featured from both sides in this one so far.
Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. The shotgun handoff here. It's a two-yard game. Second and eight coming up. And now from the pistol formation. Takes the handoff again. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. So the counter play doesn't work. The defense in good position that time to make a play. Yeah, on most of these counters, you leave the in man on the line of scrimmage unblocked and you try to pull those offensive linemen to kick him out. But if you have an aggressive defense, sometimes that can backfire. And the defense knew exactly what was coming there. On third down, he drops to throw. Makes the catch. Can he get in? Four set of bounds after a nice game. The offense is knocking on the door with a first and goal. Boy, how about to read here by this quarterback to find his open man and keep this drive moving. Great conversion. And when you're in the red zone, you got to think about getting a touchdown. You want to come away with six points. And now they've got a shot to get it. Here's the handoff on first and goal. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, this defense is being challenged. They're close to their own goal line, but how about this play? All 11 guys coming together. They stood firm. The result is a short loss for the offense. Nice job. Second down and goal. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Another handoff to him on second and goal. The running back has been busy today, but not much to show for it. The defense all over him again. Chris, you know me. I love to see defensive backs and especially corners that are willing to come up and get physical against the run game. What a job of making that play in space. No gain because of the play of that corner. They'll run here on third and goal. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, Chris, we're still here in the first half, but you got to wonder after that stop there on third down. Now we got a fourth down situation. And now you're in the red zone. I wonder, you want to take the three points the easy way, or do you roll the dice and try to take a chance and try to come up with a touchdown? So on fourth down now, out comes the field goal unit. After connecting on his first try, this is a chip shot from 22 yards out. And that one's straight down the middle. And they add to their lead. The snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20, tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. The last possession, they had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Can they find the end zone this time out? Catch hauled in here over the middle. Tackle made after a solid game. They'll spot the ball for 31. That's what makes this tight end so dangerous. You can flex him out into that slot position. He shows you his versatility. He can be an inline guy that can block, but here he shows you what he can do with his hands. Longhorns come to the line to run the hurry up. An inside give now from the shotgun. Solid gain moves the ball to the 37. Great offenses are able to stay ahead of the chains, and runs like that on first down are exactly what I'm talking about. Now you have a lot that you can call here on this second down. Different pre-snap look from the linebackers now. No huddle now for the offense. Scanning the field, it's yours. Pressure is coming. Receiver makes the grab. Tackle is made, but that's good for a first down of the 47. The defense spreads all over the field playing zone, trying to make this quarterback make a mistake by throwing it into coverage. But he finds the soft spot on the curl and picks up a first down. 
The offense finally producing here. Sets up a first and ten. They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. And we're able to tackle the ball carrier there. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fits. they holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. The offense going with the hurry up. Short pass finds the tight end. A game sets up a third down play. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Caught over the middle. It's Bolden. Stopped at the 43. This offense picks up another first down. Well, when you play zone defense on third down and you don't get pressure from your defensive line, you're going to give a quarterback a lot of time to be able to find an open receiver and eventually get the first down. Not surprised at all that they're able to convert. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. And they try the middle, but stuck for no gain. Offense right to the line, playing with tempo now. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Handoff here from the shotgun. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. Eighth play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw. It's yours. Throws to the tight end. And it's complete. What a grab by the receiver right near the sideline. Longhorns come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. On first down, it's play action. They got him. Defense comes up with a sack. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time. So we've reached the two-minute warning in this offense trying to get something going here and cut into this lead before halftime. That sack sets up a second down and long. From the shotgun, drops back. Grab down the middle. It's Bond. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Again, this is a really nice job here by the defense, keeping everything in front of them in that situation. Now they're rewarded with this third and long. We'll see if they do the same thing here, or are they going to sell out and bring the pressure? The 11th play of this marathon drive, but it's third and long now. Running out of time in the pocket. Just trying to get rid of it. Able to throw it away. He felt the heavy pressure, took a hit, but got rid of the football. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long, but when you're so far behind the chains, well, you really allow this defense to dictate things and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing as we saw on this play. And he's got it from 48 yards out, showing off the big leg.
Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. He'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. So the Vanderbilt offense heads back out onto the field. The last possession, they moved it, but settled for a chip shot. So it's sort of an unsatisfying result. Looking to do more here. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. They'll actually lose yardage after the catch. The defense all over in that time. Man, the defense was all over that play. Just left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. They go backwards on first down, so it's second and long from the 19. To the air, it's Pavia. Who makes the grab? Defense finally brings him down, but a nice chunk play. The offense will take their first time out of the half to talk strategy here. Quarterback sees that this defense is dropping way back in zone coverage, so he does the right thing. Gets it underneath to that drag route and picks up a first down. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Catch made on the right side. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Well, you wonder if the receiver adjusted his route to get closer to that first down line. Whatever he did, it works. Move the sticks. And the offense will now quickly spend a timeout. Commodore starting a new series here on first and ten. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. And the junior gets home making a sack there. That's a really nice job of bouncing back by this defense after giving up that big gain. This time they get the pressure and bring that quarterback down. And the offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. And Sack sets up second down. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. Offense facing third down after the incompletion. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's fourth down. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. And the Commodores will have to kick this away. And that's the first punt of the afternoon for this offense. Bringing it back, it's Bolden. And the returner brought down by the coverage team there. This will likely be the last play of the half. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Going for a big play downfield. That deep shot is caught for a big game. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. He took about reaching back and showing the arm strength. He did it there that time. Yeah, they actually work on this, believe it or not, in practice. Every receiver has a position to be in, whether it's the front or the back or in the middle. They just hope for maybe a tip ball or that goes up into the air and somebody comes down with it. How about that? A touchdown. And now here comes the point after attempt. And it's good. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Guys, a stirring start to things today in Nashville as we say hello from our broadcast studios. And a really competitive game so far. I'm talking razor thin margins in the big statistical categories. And while it may be a broken record, turnovers are the name of the game. The team that limits them, the ones that win that turnover margin, generally speaking, are the ones that have the best chance to get that dub. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to start the second half. Commodores will kick this away to get the second half going. 
And it's fielded. Returner trying to create a big play here. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. First play of the second half, they keep it on the ground. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. Here's the second down play. Play action fake, looking to throw. And he's looking to make a big play downfield. An explosive play, big gain across midfield to the 42. Boy, what a play here by this receiver for a big gain for Texas. And Chris, I think back all the years of Texas football, going way back, and they've had some good receivers. Roy Williams comes to mind, Devin Duvernay more recently in the slot. But man, they really need to start a new legacy. And maybe plays like this can get them going in a new direction. On first and 10 here, looking to throw the ball. No connection there. The pass is incomplete. Second down play coming up for this offense. Crucial third down play right here. To throw, it's yours. And he finds his tight end for the catch. Tackle made at the 26, good enough for a first down. Chris, we get so caught up in these wide receivers and their playmaking ability and getting them the ball in space. And right, the defense has to pay attention to them. Often too much attention opens up an underneath drag route like this. And Quarterback makes a good read. Nice first down. The Longhorns pick up enough yardage to get a first down. Handoff to the single back. And he stopped after gaining four yards. So second and six. Offense set for the sixth play in this drive. Second down, we're going to throw it. Misses the receiver, incomplete. So now it's third and short from the 23. Potential four down territory. Let's see what the third down call is. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Defense is coming after him. There's no one to throw to there on third down. And now it's a fourth down coming up. Looks like the coach decides to go for three points here. Here comes the field goal team. Trying to connect from 40 yards out. He knocks this one right through. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. And he takes this from inside the five. And the return will be brought down. So here comes the Vandy offense back on the field now. The last time, they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? A solid eight-yard gain brings up a second and two. 
Well, the offense goes with a counter play here, and the defense does a pretty good job of slowing it down. Again, you got to be disciplined on defense. Just when you think they're running on the front side, they run that counter play, and you better be home on the back side. Getting set. Here's second down. Give it to the back again. And the freshman brings him down quickly. Third down play for this offense. Can he make it to the marker? Jukes to get free. Brought down at the 33. That's good enough to move the sticks. How about the offensive line here? Just a hat on a hat, opening up just enough room for the back to squeeze through there for a nice game. And the Commodores line up on first and ten now. Back to throw. It's Pavia. And he's going to float this one to the right side. And the deep shot falls incomplete. But wait, there is a flag on the play. So we'll check that out. Quarterback rough up. Let's hope he's okay. Automatic first down coming. The back's got it. Stop after a small gain. Now look at it, second and nine. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Cannot escape, and down he goes. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. What will the call be on third and long now from the 44? From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. The pass is intercepted. Not a great return, but the important thing, the pick wipes out his scoring threat. They'll set the offense up at the 31. It's third and long, so as an offensive coordinator, you can either play it conservative or trust your quarterback and take a shot downfield. They elect the latter, and it ends up backfiring on them. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. Settled for a field goal last time out. Can they open things up on this possession? They'll run it to the left. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well do you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. And the run moves the ball up to the 33. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. And an explosive gain moves the ball across midfield, but spotted at the 42. Most defensive coordinators focus a lot of their energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. They give up a couple more third down conversions like that, and they're in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. And the wideout goes in motion. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. And he's got his man open downfield. Tackle made after a big game. 
Well, this is what you see all over college football and even up, obviously, in the NFL. These tight ends that are really recruited as big receivers and they can get one-on-one -on -one matchups and they've got speed after the catch. This is a short throw. You can see what he does after the catch and he is a tough matchup for whether it's a safety, a nickel, or a linebacker. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Fires it to the wideout. Caught near the goal line. Brought down just short of the end zone. It'll be first and goal from the one. Whew, that was pretty. The receiver broke down his defender on that curl against man-to-man -man coverage. That's how you win one-on-ones. Longhorns hoping to punch it in here. They have first and goal. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, Longhorns. That's a crucial touchdown, Kirk. The offense padding its lead now here in the second half. Yeah, you get into this second half, you start to count possessions and how big your lead is. Now that you're up two possessions, you can start to play really smart football, not just on offense, but on defense as well. Now the important point after attempt. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Looks like the returner will try and field this one. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. Vanderbilt's offense heads back out onto the field now. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. Looks to his left and makes the completion. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Second down after that previous play. Off play action. He's looking to throw. Looking right. This one caught. They stop him, but it's a first down. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. How about the timing here by the defense to shoot that gap? As an offensive lineman, you have to anticipate that. Close that gap off. Otherwise, it could be a long day. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. They'll run it from the gun. Defense stops him short of the first down marker, and that'll do it for the third quarter of play. And check out how he's been spreading the football around between his targets, getting everybody involved in this game. One quarter to go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. So it's third and long from the 29. The defense play coverage or blitz. Lofting it toward the left sideline. But this one is broken up, falls incomplete. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. Hey, it's a bit of a risk, but with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. The Commodores will bring their punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. The fair catch made at the 25-yard line. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Looking to throw. It's yours. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. 
Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Grab behind the line. It's golden. Tackle made at the 37. That's a solid game. I mean, Chris, look at this guy. You talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game, and it continues. The coach is showing confidence of what he can do. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Getting close to midfield now. They bring him down to the 47. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call and just keep working that clock. Important second down play coming up. Movement here from the tight end. Bakes the handoff, looking to throw. He's got it for a big game. And they tackle him, but not before a huge gain down near the 26. So off the play fake there, the big tight end gets open downfield. Well, I love this call right here. Anytime you can run the football, eventually it opens up play action. Linebackers and safety's eyes are in the backfield. They lose the tight end completely, and a quarterback throws that one on rhythm for a nice game. Back now goes in motion. Defense will have to adjust. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from a first down. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. Snags a quick throw. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Texas. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. Now the all-important extra point. And the extra point up and good makes it a three-score game. Up 17 here in the fourth. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Turner looking to create better field position. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. So here comes the Commodores offense back on the field. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away. Can they finally get things going this time? And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. Completion makes it second down. Looking downfield, it's Pavia. The ball is picked off. He's got some room and some blockers here. And he steps out of bounds after the great pick. Solid return to set up his offense. I just don't think there's anything else you can do as a play caller. You've got to be able to throw the ball downfield. You just got to hope that your quarterback and receivers can execute when the defense knows it's coming. Here the interception cost him. Longhorns line up with a first and goal. First and goal, handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. What a job by this defense. They would simply not relent. Incredible effort. Second down and goal, upcoming.
on the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. Touchdown, Longhorns. And the beatdown continues. Man, that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield, or he may go for a third or a fourth later today. Kicking team on now for the extra point. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. And it's fielded. Can the returner make something happen here? And the returner brought down by that coverage team. So the Vanderbilt offense heads back out onto the field. This drive is important. Last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. Quick throw testing the middle. And he pulls in the catch. The tackle made after a solid game. will spot the ball for 31. Hey, it's positive yards, right? That, that's never a bad thing. But let's face it, Chris. These guys got a long way to go in a short amount of time to do it. So let's get the ball downfield and let's get out of bounds to try to preserve that clock. Back to pass. It's Pavia. Makes a quick grab. He stopped him out at the 42. That's a solid game getting closer to midfield. Well, the defense sits back in a zone coverage. Good job here by the quarterback recognizing that soft coverage, and he hits the routine drag route underneath for a first down. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. That sack sets up a second down and very long. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. And they've got him again. That ferocious pass rush. Back-to-back -back sacks. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. So after consecutive losses, they got to come up with something here on third and very long. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Caught over the middle. It's Alexander. Defense able to stop it. It's fourth down now. You know, it's third down as a quarterback. You're sitting there back in the pocket trying to find a matchup that you like. Pretty much everything taken away. I like his thought to get it to the running back because he's a talented, gifted player but he just could not wiggle free to pick up the first down. Fourth down, looking to throw for it. And he floats this pass deep down the right side. Can't connect in the long throw. Incomplete, a fourth down stop. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Handoff as he try to work the clock here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. My gosh, this offensive line's got to do a better job of blocking. The defense was zeroed in on the ball carrier and absolutely nowhere to go for the offense. Second down play coming up. Caught in the backfield. It's golden. They stopped the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. Yeah. 
So now it's third and short from the plus 25. They're in field goal range. But let's see what the call is. They're thinking about touchdown, of course. Looking to pass. It's yours. And the pass is complete to the tight end. Touchdown, Texas. To stretch the lead, the route is on. That's another touchdown for these guys. Man, they have had a day that you dream about. Whether it's the quarterback, the running back, the receivers, the offensive line, the entire unit has been dominant. Here's the point after attempt. PAT is good as they build on this big lead. Now they get set to kick it away. Fields it inside the five yard line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. So here comes the Vandy offense back on the field now. Last time they gambled and lost. Went for it in fourth down in their territory and got stopped. Grab down the middle. It's Alexander. Tackle made after a solid game. They'll spot the ball at the 34. First down here, time for one more play before the clock stops for the two-minute warning. And we've reached the two-minute warning here. This offense needing to score and then get the football back. First down here for this offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Receiver makes the catch. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving this defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try five or six defensive backs on the field. Somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. Back to pass. It's Pavia. Quick throw caught over the middle. They keep the drive going. It's a first out of the 46. One thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. And the Commodores will line up on first and ten. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. He'll try a pass here. Not enough on that one. It falls incomplete. Boy, this offense has really struggled today, Chris, when it comes to throwing the football. They have dug themselves a huge hole. They're not going to have any chance of coming back. And I think one thing about this is you wonder where you go from here. You're hoping to make a play or two to give yourself a belief that things can get better, but it's just been a disastrous day for the offense. Heavy pressure. He lets it go. And the pass is too high, out of bounds, and not complete. How about the defense today? They have played so well. I think the defensive coordinator put together a great plan. His kids clearly understood their scheme because they have been aggressive and attacking all game long. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. The offense really clicking here. Makes the grab. It's Alexander. Tackle made after the completion. Pass complete. It's second down now. To throw. It's Pavia. The pocket breaking down. Tries to avoid the rush and just gets rid of it. And he just throws that one away. Took a big shot, but avoids the sack. 
Chris, this offensive coordinator is going to have to adjust. We've seen hits and sacks and pressure on this quarterback all game long. They've got to find a solution to create more time for the quarterback to be able to throw the football or maybe completely overhaul and change what they're doing on offense. Pass complete in the crosser. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. The Commodores move into the red zone. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete. Fans of the defense got to be frustrated. The offense cannot be stopped here. Looking to pass here on second down. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag. Doesn't get it. Brings up third down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. The offense was moving well, but two incompletions sets up a third and ten. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Whoa, you talk about a big hit there. I think this guy holds on to this football at a critical third down if this linebacker doesn't lower the blow. Great timing on that hit to prevent the P.I. call and to get this team to fourth down. Fourth down, he's throwing for it. Gets rid of it on the move. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. And the tackle is made, but the offense now is set up. First and goal from the nine. Gutsy call to go for it, but it works. The quarterback and receiver are in sync, and you pick up enough yards to move the sticks. The offense threatening now. First and goal. Dropping back. It's Pavia. Receiver makes the grab. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Vanderbilt. Now with no time left in this blowout loss, the PAT, just a formality. And the PAT is good. Doesn't matter much in the end as they go down.